Waking up just in time for the morning rush here at 91 southbound in New Haven, back open after a rollover crash. What a relief. What a mm -hmm. mess that would have been for commuters. We want to get right out to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler, who is live right off of exit 9 on 91 in New Haven. Olivia, what do we know about the investigation? Nicole, at this time, we know that one person at least was seriously injured and taken to an area hospital for treatment. Now, as you mentioned, I-91 South by exit 6 through 9 has completely reopened here. And you'll see on top of that overpass that traffic is moving uh, back to normal. Of course, right now it has slowed down as we came on the air, but everything is moving as it should here in New Haven and cars are able to drive through. Now, there's a lot we're working to find out this morning. I have contacted state police to ask them how many cars were involved and if there was others injured in this crash. Right now, you're about to look at an eagle's eye view of that crash on I-91 South in New Haven from about 2 o'clock this morning. You can see a number of first responders investigating the rollover crash. We know around 10 o'clock last night, emergency services, the fire department, and state police responded to the crash. That means crews were investigating for several overnight hours. Now, once again, here in New Haven, on on off of I-91 South, everything has cleared up. In the last hour, I did contact Connecticut State Police once again asking for more information in regards to how many people were injured. I am still waiting to hear back from them. And as soon as I have an update for you and more information about that crash, you will be the first to know here on the WFSB News app. We're live this morning in New Haven, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks.